So I was not planning on doing a Dremel carving video today. I'm working on a big wizard mountain man head thing and my chainsaw carving tent. But I need to get this done because I said in the beginning chip in video giveaway, if more people chip in and we get past the number that um, was able to help me buy, was able to buy this Ram crazy micro carver, um, I'd carve more wood spirit. So I think I already got eight carvings chipped in. So I'm going to have to carve one more. This is a piece of uh, root I got from the beach. I don't have that much depth in this piece. But what I'm going to do is carve a wood spirit on this piece with my RAM micro carvers. These things spin at 50,000 RPMs. You'll see here I got a cut saw, silver burr in here if you guys anybody that doesn't know you can get these cuts all burrs down below in the description okay it'll take you to the cuts all site so i got the the, the one eighth one in here and i got the quarter inch i'm just going to use this to clean up wood i'm not going to use this that much for carving because if i'm going to get into the big quarter inch carvings i'll go to my chainsaw tent and i'll carve there right so but so lots of this might be a voiceover because i'm going to go over all the prizes again and the day after this video's been released that's I, okay so i'll release this video hopefully tomorrow i'll and people can still chip in because people have been waiting and wanting to chip and they just couldn't afford it so and my paypal will be listed below this video to if you want to chip in okay so uh, let's get this carved i'm going to try my best i'm going to and it's lots of this going to be a voiceover can't even talk today so let's get going Okay, the camera's in the overhead. I just want to see if I can show you guys the back. So, you know, like this is a big dent in there. And they got there. So maybe I got about an inch room to carve. If it cuts through, who cares? We'll have a, it will be negative space. So all I'm going to do right now is that this guy's going to be kind of facing this way. All right, let's do that. Because then his hair can go like this. Or we can go straight and then his hair can go like that. Yeah, let's just go straight. Sorry. So there's our center line, and our forehead will be right here. So I'm going to carve this forehead in a bit deeper. Like this is a perfect example, you know, you might not be able to get the nose stick to stick farthest off the face. It doesn't matter, you know, you can give it depth by bur wood burning and shadows and all that different stuff too. So it doesn't always have to stick farthest off the face. So we'll go like this. We'll just kind of carve inside here and slope it back just a little bit. All right, coffee break. Three, two, one, turn on the fan. I have no tape of, I have no clue what type of wood this is. See that chaffering? That means because the channel's getting too deep, now I gotta start removing wood. Okay, let's do another pass. Running it at 31,000 RPMs, let's turn it up to 50. Full throttle, green wiener. This thing really rips. Still no clue what type of wood this is. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the quarter inch because I got this bulk wood to remove here, right? So let's switch it over. Turn it down. This one runs at 30. This one, this one run, I'll run it at uh, 25,000 RPMs. This is just like a bulk remover, right? The quarter inch. And I got a gold burr on here, the uh, flame one.
So this is a pretty, this, like I said, this was a root piece. It's pretty hard um, wood. Trying to get rid of all the gray stuff on it. <sighs> Root pieces are always um, hard to tell, especially driftwood, what type of wood they are. Because, well, when it's driftwood, the first, like, like that much in there you don't really smell the wood because it's been floating around the ocean you don't know it's like it could have whale piss in it shark piss so the deeper that i carve into here i might be able to guess the wood my guess right now it's douglas fir but um let's just keep going okay so i'll get this all done this is kind of the boring part. I'll get this all done all the way down to the bottom, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so you can see there I got the forehead cut in. I got a little bit of depth there with some shadows. Um, it's not wet. This is just the color of the wood. I'm thinking it's Douglas fir. You know, you guys are the you guys are the decision makers for your art pieces, right? So you guys make the final call. So I think this forehead is a little bit too low because I won't have much room to give him a beard beard hairs down here so you can always bring, raise the forehead up higher why can't you you know I just gotta I just gotta curve this away and make it deeper so I'm gonna get that done off screen okay I'm gonna get that done off screen then I'll do a voiceover drawing on the nose and doing carvings because I'm going to crank my music and put my desk mask on and just carve like crazy. We'll talk about the giveaway coming up this weekend. This is 2023. Um, the giveaway will be over, um, what, March 11th or something. Shout out studio on the lake. Um, so I hope everybody's doing good. For the last two days, I've been uh, chainsaw carving. Spent about um, four five hours a day over there just trying to catch up on things done. I curved a big uh, wizard face I'll show you at the end of this video and I'm finishing the um, yellow cedar owl as I don't like it too much I just kind of want to get it out of there so here you can see I'm drawing on the wood spirit I always got my kind of same formula and for this uh, voice over here I'm going to be saying what prizes or I got a list of prizes for the uh, giveaway but I'll say right now it's we're gonna have it on uh, Sunday this upcoming Sunday at noon Pacific time you don't need to be in the live chat to win that prize but it would help if you were because a couple of them are only in, uh, able to ship inside the USA and you can see there I'm just drawing his cheekbones in a bit. A couple of them are inside the USA and a couple of them are uh, in the only shipping in the UK. Myself, my carvings, I'm going to ship uh, worldwide. <coughs> worldwide, excuse me. So we've gone way over up, uh, above and beyond what was the original goal for the chip. And I think the original goal was like maybe $900 or $1,000. I think it's reached out... Uh, about um, eighteen hundred dollars. Sorry, everybody. I, th I think we it's reached about eighteen hundred dollars. So, you know, the amount of support is just huge, and I just want to thank every single one of you. And even if you couldn't afford to um, chip in, I just want to say um, thank you for the support too. There will be more giveaways coming up here in a little bit. We're going to do a challenge, and I'll be doing some carvings to give away, so you don't have to, you know donate money or chip in I don't like saying donate but chip in um, so the first one is Peter Blair he's got those sanding mandrels that I always use um, he's chipping in I don't hold me to it but I believe it's um, uh, 
a sandy mandrel or two and one of his um one of his like um wheel sanders so he's has two things he's chipping in and i gave him some curving fusion stickers to send for the uh, winners so thank you pete um you know those little round sander things um contour sander I, th I believe he calls it and um all my carvings will be shipped with the carving fusion sticker too i'm working on a new site right now i'll it'll be up soon and uh, you'll be able to get carving fusion hats i just got to connect it to my youtube i don't know why i brought that up uh just carve rob will be shipping oh sorry there's only three within the states oh no there's I gotta put somebody else's name down here too. There's only there's four that's only within the states. Only I'm shipping worldwide, basically. Just give me a sec here. Um, just carve Rob has a a double sided Sasquatch head. One of just carve Rob's carving. So if you flip it upside down, and there's a, a two different Sasquatches. If you flip it upside down, two faces. Thank you, just carve Rob. That's only in the USA. Um, Kevin there at Sticks and Stones, I sent him some uh, really nice first growth red cedar and he carved an awesome wood spirit. Kevin's um, wicked at wood spirits. He carved an awesome, like a wizard wood spirit with a wizard cap on the top. Um, so he'll be chipping that in. That's only within the USA too. I can't ask people to ship everybody. I can't ask people. I know some of you in the UK are saying, no, oh, it's a bummer that it's only in the USA, but... I can't ask the people that are chipping and stuff to ship to the UK from like Canada or the States because it just gets to be too much money. So, but like I said, all oh Mike, I think I got nine carvings. This one's going, I'm chipping it in. Um, I'll talk more about that later. But so yeah, the, um, okay. So that's Kevin sticks at stones. Thank you, Kevin. Um, the Ram micro, the Ram. So Ram, the company that we, you guys helped me get the micro motor. Um, they're chipping in a cube. Uh, Ben's studio on the lake has the cube. It's I think I believe it's like a two. You can buy it for like two hundred bucks. It's a it spins forty five thousand RPMs. So thank you very much for Ram for doing that. And that's only within the USA too, because you know like they've just they've asked me if they could help out, and you know they wanted to give me money, and I says I would much rather have. Um, uh, I don't need money. I'm not into this. I'm not into it for the money. I'd much rather the community be able to get a, a chance to win a micro motor. They said perfect. They'll ship one out to whoever the winner is. And they're also shipping me the ice cube too, so I can show you guys it on my um, YouTube channel. So I'll be making a video once that shows up. Um, Susan Woodcarver. She is in the USA. She did a beautiful little wood spirit named Shy Slim. Um, she wanted to donate that too. So thank you very much, Susan. I love your wood spirits. And that's only in the USA as well. And it's carved out of cottonwood bark. And there's that. I'm not going to post the pictures of it. I'm just too tired to do right now. And I got to get this video out. But she's got a like a purple amethyst in it too, so it's a beautiful piece of uh, nicely carved cottonwood bark. So Chris Hill, Mr. Chris Hill, that was in the Wood Carvers uh, Illustrated magazine that gave gave good old Heavy Hands a shout out. Um, Chris was the largest uh, contributor. He, the magazine, the Wood Carving Illustrated magazine paid him like uh, two hundred and sixty dollars Canadian. And he sent that money to me for the chipping. So, you know, and also Chris is donating one of, chipping in one of his birdhouses. And once again, that's, so that's within the UK, because I believe Chris Hill is in England. So thank you so much for that, Chris Hill. So once again, Chris Hill will be donating, chipping in one of his birdhouses, Wood Spirit birdhouses, that was in the um, Wood Carving Illustrated magazine. It's the spring edition. I think it's page 45, I think. Where he just starts off and he explains and stuff like that what he does and he like i said he gives me a shout out so thank you chris and that's in the uk too and we got a new one um other people have chipped in i that declined their offer to chip in but i declined their offer because we just, it just gets to be a little bit too out of hand and only shipping within the usa so bap over there at um i can carve he's got a youtube channel has offered to chip in the beautiful little owl carving that he did. So I said yes to BAP because it equals out. 
BAP can only ship it within the, the UK. So there's, there's, there's a couple carvings that are only available in the UK. And there's more that's only available in the States. I'm pretty tired right now. I don't think, I hope I haven't missed anybody. And if I have, I'm terribly sorry. I got a list downstairs of all the people that chipped in. Um, you know, it's just like the, the support's just amazing. And I and I, I don't expect it, that's for sure. But I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm, I'm just going to talk a bit about me. You know, like, you know, this, I, I started my YouTube channel f for me, basically. And it's just, it's just, I, I do me in my videos. I'm not going to get too into it, but you know, in my videos and my carvings, I do me and what things I say, if you like it, you do. If you don't, you don't, you know, and it's, it's shitty that you don't, I, I can't try to make everybody happy, you know? So basically the bottom line is just, I do me and it's, this is my passion and it's, it, it lets me forget that I have a, a brutal uh, brain injury you know I feel, really feel my brain injury maybe you guys can hear it right now um, when I'm tired but anyways it's not about that but I just just let you guys all know that I'll never change I'll just keep being me and um, doing what I do you know we got a great community I didn't think this um, was like my goal wasn't to build a big community like it was happening but then i started to became friends with like um Ta oh also tammy tammy's donating a box of oh we got two more people at angel is donating a box of bark um shipped oh that's only in the usa um from alaska angel's shipping a box of bark from alaska within the usa actually maybe angels i'll just say I'll talk to her and we'll ship her. We'll make hers be able to ship worldwide because there's just too many USAs. So, and I'll pay the extra shipping because I got extra money. So, Angels will be able to ship worldwide. I'm sure she, she'll be uh, fine with it. She's a sweetheart. So, Angel has a box of bark. And one of my first subscribers and such a great friend, Tammy. Her mom just passed away. I'm sorry, um, Tammy. But she wants to chip in a box of bark too. So she's a, she's another sweetheart and um, sorry for the loss for your mom, Tammy, and she's dealing with all the probate stuff and all that crap, but um, she's seen that we're having this chip in giveaway and she she wanted to chip in, but her box of barks only in the um, States, USA, Tammy. I don't think I've forgotten every, everybody, so let's see here. I think Peter Blair times two, just cart, okay, let me count. So nine people have donated to chip in. That sure makes a guy feel special. Um, and I think I have nine carvings to chip in too. So that's like, I think we're at like 17 or 18 prizes. So that's pretty damn neat. And the chip-ins are always fun to do. For the video, I'm going to leave... Um, I'll leave everybody's email addresses underneath the video when we do the live. So, like, say, if you win a Peter Blair sanding mandrel, Peter Blair's email will be listed below there, the video, and it's your responsibility to email Pete and say that you're the winner. Um, also, some people, they watch the lives and they don't know how to comment. Like, they try and comment. They try and get into the live chat. Well, if you, if you want to get into the live chat, you have to st create a, I believe you have to create a YouTube account because once you got a, U like you don't have to make videos, you just have to sign up for YouTube or whatever, just like you, how you'd make an email, new email address. Then once you got your YouTube uh, signed into YouTube, then you can comment and you can get in with the um, conversations that everybody has. So that's how you do that. If, Cause if you don't, if you just have an email and you're not um, registered to YouTube, you're not going to be able to comment, you know, say, like, say if I pull your name and you're, and you're a winner and you're actually watching, but you can't comment. Well, it's cause you don't have a YouTube, uh, uh, account. So I think we got everything covered. I think I'm going to, you know, this, 
you can see here I'm using the, the, the RAM micro carver because I can't use the Cutsaw Extreme Flamber. It's, you know, it carves super fast. It's like, I love it. I still love the Cutsaw Extreme Flamber because it carves so fast and heavy. So I will still use my Dremel when I want to carve fast and heavy. Like you see there, fire the cameraman, right? Like, man, have I gone through a lot of, have I fired a lot of cameraman? But, yeah, the, it's like, you know, the Dremel's like a friggin', like a friggin' rough boat going over the waves and the, the, the micro motors are like, like, like a friggin' speedboat just skimming over top of the waves. It's so nice and light and comfortable in your hand. You know, the Dremel's loud and it shakes and it vibrates. The micro motors don't do that. They're like, they're like floating in clouds compared to the Dremel. And it has so much more, so much power too. This, um, but I got to be careful. I don't start carving like push the limits with it because it's 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 you you guys bought it for me, so it's it's a special tool to me, just like my uh, 500i chainsaw. So, you know this, I I go on to carve eyes here, but I think this voiceover is kind of getting long, so I'm gonna probably cut it short. I will make a eyes video. Hi, Amy. Amy wants, hi Liz, um, Amy asked me to do another owl video, so I might do one of those pretty soon, but um, I got a couple chainsaw videos that I've, one chainsaw video that um, I carved a wizard, I'll show you at the end of this video, um, yeah, oh yeah, I carved, oh yeah, that owl video is already out, then I got a chainsaw carving video for the wizard, so I'll just, um, wait till you guys see that. So here's the uh, aluminum cutter in here. I think I was going to start um, carving eyes. Oh no, the hair. Um, sticks and stones. There's another, um, see that bend there? There's another, I did it too high, but it's cheekbones and then your um, cheekbones and your, what's it called, above your eyes on the side, your, your temple. There's another fellow that I've been following, old school carver, just an amazing carver. He does it with chisels, and he, he, he explains so good, because it was like an old video where he used to charge for a course, but I guess somebody got a hold of that video, and now they just posted it on um, YouTube for free. YouTube's awesome. It's like, a, it's like a knowledge. It's like going to the library, but you can do it lying in bed, eating popcorn, smoking cigarettes, right? So, anyways... Yeah, I'm going to cut this, uh, I'm going to do some editing, cut this short. So we hope to see you all in the live on Sunday. It's super fun. I'll have the drum out maybe. And um, we'll just, we'll get those prizes out to everybody. So once again, it's going to be on Sunday. This Sunday, so like what's that, March 11th, this is 2023. March 10th or 11th or 12th, or, it's this Sunday at noon Pacific time. So we'll see you all there and I'm going to, edit this video so you're not going to see me carving eyes and if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see me carve on wood spirits or whatever I'm ha I read all the comments so don't think that just because I don't like type something out and because I get so many comments just because I don't type something out does not mean that I haven't read it if you, if you get a if you see that I've given it a heart and a like that means I've read it so I'd love to hear what you guys um you know, if there's things that you want me to show, how I do different things on wood spirits. And um, I've been practicing eyes, and I've, I think I've pretty well got it figured out. Just some fine tuning. And uh, there's going to be some great eye carving fusion uh, eye videos coming out pretty soon, too. So that's it for this one. And now uh, the video is going to keep going, but I'm going to edit out where I'm carving. All right. Funny story for all you that know that uh, my last piece I did, I signed it 2022 when we're clearly in 2023, but um, I put a hang I put a hanger on the back um, of this piece, so whoever wins it gets to hang it up. So here you go. There it is. Just a silly old wood spirit hiding in the root piece, Douglas fir. You know, 
the more that you do, the better that you're going to get everybody. Let's give, just carve Rob a side view. So his nose kind of does stick farthest off the face. Doesn't really matter. As long as you can make it look kind of somewhat three-dimensional. The more that you do, the better that you're going to get everybody. And that's just a simple line. I'm not a very good artist. I still want to get better at wood spirits. I keep trying and try, 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 try. The more that you do, the better you're going to get. So we'll leave this one here. This Somebody will win this. This does not have a clear coat on it. Let's do a carving fusion spit test here. Just on the nose. Oh, it is kind of a nice color. Isn't it? Got that uh, dark piece of wood left in there. But I'm not going to clear coat it. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I think it's good enough. It does not need a clear coat. Your wood carvings do not have to have clear coats on them. Even if you put them outside. The grayer, when they're outside, the grayer and old, more weathered they look, I think the better they look. So that's it. I won't ramble. Good luck on the uh, giveaway, everybody. And oh my, so I think I got maybe eight or nine carvings now I got to ship out. I ship out worldwide. My carvings, I got to, I promised I'll ship them worldwide. Whoever wins the, the, the money that everybody sent me goes towards shipping too. See you on the next one. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them and take them. You can't beat death, but you can beat death in life. Sometimes the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. Your life is your life. Know it while you have it. You are marvelous. The gods wait to delight in you. That's a beauty. Yeah.